out here at the boiler, in the uh, water jacket, or the air jacket, is running about 380 degrees roughly. The door to the wood chamber is running 150. The door to the secondary chamber is running about 630 degrees. As you can see, I have a little bit of a smoke leak there around the primary door. This air handler exchanger is running a little hotter, as it always tends to for some reason. It runs closer to 600. I'm guessing that some, some secondary air jets on this side of the refractory are plugged. Keep in mind that we have uh, preheat exchanger temperatures nearing 1100 degrees. Here you will find that the back side of the stove is about uh, 300, let me get just right here in the sun, 311 on the back side of the stove. This is where that 1100 degree air is hitting. The underside of the stove at its hottest point it is 514 degrees, which isn't bad considering that I was pointing it around down there and the primary, the, the exit of the nozzle is directly blowing on the bottom side of the stove. Let's put the uh, infrared thermometer down and see what our fires look like. I can hold on to my cell phone here. Oops. Alright, first the primary chamber. Nice. We'll notice the flames flying down this refractory slot, which is actually glowing. Of course, that little opening of the door there will significantly affect our temperatures, as you can see. It dropped them by about 40 degrees. Well, let's go see if I can, we can check out the secondary temperatures without melting my cell phone and without getting the door stuck open like happened last time. I'm going to stay far away. The door seems to be stuck. And here you can see up in there you can see the the, the slide is fairly hot, and uh, the flames don't seem to be lipping around like they should. They probably have some things left to adjust. And that is the wood stove in a nutshell.